Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So in this video, I have two recipes that are very easy to make. They're great for meal prepping. I meal prep foods usually twice a week. Um, once on the weekend and then sometimes midweek as well. That's because I just like a variety of foods. I don't tend to want to eat the exact same thing for lunch and dinner all week long. And so I'll make something else midweek. Also, your foods just tend to lose flavor and they lose their appeal to me the longer they are in the refrigerator. So. Um, both of these recipes, like I said, are very easy to do. There are not a ton of ingredients and you don't need a lot of equipment. Um, they are great to eat for either a lunch or a dinner. And we all know when you're busy, you're stressed, you're short on time, especially during the week, you need to have stuff ready, ready to go so that you don't turn to some not as good for you foods. I don't know, that's when I turn to like the junk if I have absolutely nothing to eat. Okay, so anyway, the first recipe that I'm gonna show you how to make are zucchini boats. So these were way easier than I even thought they were going to be and they were delicious. I took them for lunch for several days in a row. All you need are zucchini, and some ground meat of your choice, some cheese, and some pasta sauce. And then the second recipe isn't a full recipe, and y'all have probably tried it before. It's very popular, spaghetti squash. But I was gonna show you how I make it because it's super easy, or if you've never made it before, then I'll show you how. It's super easy, and you can combine it with so many different ingredients to create different flavors and different meals. So I'm gonna show you how to make it, and then one combination um, of how you can eat it. Spaghetti squash is awesome because it is low carb and low calorie. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see and you wanna see more recipes and meal prep videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you're notified whenever a new video is live. And if you want to see more recipe meal ideas, workout ideas and just some motivation, you can follow me on my Instagram. My handle is at Mandy Nicole Fit. Thanks for watching. All right, so let's get into how to make the zucchini boats. So the first thing I did was cook my meat on the stove as usual. I used one pound of lean ground turkey, but ground beef or ground chicken would taste just as good as well. While the meat was cooking, I took four zucchini, sliced them apart long ways, and used a spoon to actually hollow out the inside. I then took two servings of spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce. Um, I used a regular tomato and basil flavored one and mixed that in with the meat. I also decided to stir in some reduced fat feta cheese as well. I love cheese and so the cheesier you can make things, the better in my opinion. But that is totally optional. You are more than welcome to leave them out. The zucchini boats are going to cook in a py glass Pyrex um, dish. So I took my Pyrex dish and I sprayed it with some non-stick spray. And then I started filling them up with the sauce and meat on the inside. So depending on the size of your zucchini, um, depends on how much you can stuff in there. I tried to stick as much as I could in there and sort of even it out. I just 
continued filling them until I didn't have um, until I didn't have any more of the meat and sauce mixture. I couldn't fit all of them into one dish, so I went ahead and set the others on a plate until I found another Pyrex dish that I could fill them with. So this made about eight pieces, and I would eat two of them um, for a meal, which is plenty. It is super filling, and you will get a lot of protein and not a whole lot of fat or carbs with it. Most of the carbs basically just comes from the pasta sauce and the zucchini itself, which is very low in carbs. Once the zucchini are filled with the meat and pasta mixture, I then top each one with some mozzarella cheese. If I had had Parmesan, I probably would have used Parmesan as well, a little bit of both. I would say there was about um, half a serving of mozzarella on top of each of the zucchini. While you're finishing filling the zucchinis, preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. They're going to bake in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. When I first put them in the oven, I didn't cover them, but realized that I should cover them with foil. So I pulled them back out, covered them with foil, and then put them back in. Once they're done, let them cool and then enjoy or store in the refrigerator. Each serving, which is two zucchini boats, is 245 calories, 6 grams of fat, 12 carbs, and 38 grams of protein. Alright guys, so a great option um, for a meal that's feeling filling and low carb when you have low carbs like I do right now on my low carb days is spaghetti squash and another great thing is that it's in season right now and so it's cheaper at the grocery store so what I think is the easiest way to cook your spaghetti squash is to when you buy it from the store right you'll get one and you're gonna cut it apart long ways now it's sometimes hard to cut through you've got to work at it a little bit and use a good knife. But once you get it open, all right, you'll open it up and there will be some seeds and pulp in the middle. And all you have to do is use a spoon and scoop that out and you're just gonna throw that part away. Okay, you'll need a, this is a nine by 13, um, like Pyrex baking dish. And you're gonna lay them face down in the dish. You usually can fit both of them in one depending on the size of your um, of your spaghetti squash but you'll lay it face down and put about half a cup of water at the bottom so that's just so it doesn't get too dry and it's moist so I'm gonna add in my water at the bottom of this okay You'll preheat the oven to 375 degrees. So I've already had mine um, heating up. It's already gotten to 375. And you'll put your spaghetti squash in there, all right, face down. It cooks for about 30 to 35 minutes, all right? When it's done, and I will show you when I pull it out, when it's done, you're gonna have to let it cool because it, it's gonna be really hot but you'll be able to just use a fork and pull out the rest of the flesh and it will string into spaghetti and be cooked perfectly. So I'm gonna take it out and just set it on top. Okay, so the water has either been absorbed by the spaghetti squash 
or been basically cooked off by steam. And I'm going to flip these over to let them cool for a little bit. Like I said, they're gonna be super hot and then we'll be able to, then we'll be able to pull the flush out. So once your spaghetti squash is cooked and it's um, cool enough to handle, you can literally just take a fork and you see how it's stringing out the middle there? This is so, it's so easy. I'm just barely putting any pressure and it's just coming out in strings. Okay, that is like the perfect consistency. And you can just pull all the flesh out. It'll just string all out. Put it in a container and use as much as you want. It'll kind of act as, you know, pasta. I put mine with some tomato sauce and some ground turkey and some feta cheese, and it is delicious. I'll show you after I make myself a plate for lunch.